Hi, my name is Fauzan. Today, we are going to introduce our Arduino-based Smart Automatic Fire Alarm Detection System project. Our project represents an implementation of an advanced computing algorithm and a sensor for fire detection that is capable of identifying infrared radiation in every area that very primary technical for today. Just before we commence this project, we need to identify what it's for. The rationale for this is that we want to enhance alertness during fire emergencies in order to reduce injuries and save building structure. So what have we done? In line with the objective, we invent a smart fire alarm system using this components. The objective is to detect a fire and to keep people safe. So how does the project function? When a fire is detected, the microcontroller signals the buzzer and LED to turn on, otherwise, turn off. Here is our flowchart to see for the better comprehend how our operations flow work. Let's move on to the project's key benefits. The top, an extremely quick reflexive action of up to one second, sending a warning to a far area, and provide powerful light to aid in rescue. Keep watching. There will be more compelling action to see. Quote of the day, small flames stay buddies, while big flame turn enemies. Don't play play. Hi my name is Zairi and I'll go through some coding matters on our Arduino. So, this is our script and we defined three LED pins, a buzzer, and a fire sensor at each appropriate pin in the variables section. We have declared a fire sensor as a source of input and LEDs and a buzzer as outputs throughout void setup, where we define pin mode for each piece of equipment. Right after setup, we have a loop function to repeat the operation. In this void loop, we first deal with the fire sensor input to assess whether or not there is a fire. If it becomes apparent that there is a fire, the system will go to condition 1, where the buzzer and LED will sound a warning continuously every 25 milliseconds until the fire is extinguished. When there is no fire or heat, the buzzer and LED switch off. This is the strategy that we will use in our Arduino project. Hi, I'm Hafiz. To waste no time, let's get started. So, when I start the fire, the sensor detects a high level and sends it to the microcontroller, which then sends signals to the buzzer and LEDs to turn on. Then I press the button, causing the atomizer to turn on and extinguish the existing flames. When the fire goes out, the sensor detects a low level, and the buzzer and LEDs switch off. To sum up, the fire alarm system performs admirably at detecting heat fires, which is its main goal. The benefits add up to help safeguard people and property from the destructive impacts of flames. Thank you very much from us.